So I bought this Honda Snowblower used and I noticed the battery wasn't working so well. Um, he had it for about, I called Honda, it was like four years. So I'm just gonna show you guys how to do it. Um, replace the battery on this. I never see videos on this, to be honest. But it shows a strap right here. You take the strap off. I'll show you after. Then you have to take the terminals off. It says negative first, um, cable, and then positive afterwards. That's for the 928, that's the one I got. It says also to charge it five to 10 hours. I'll show you what I'm gonna do with that. Um, every six months or so, I believe it says. Let me see. Replace the battery, that's what I'm gonna do. Every six months or if the voltage is less than 12.9 volts, sorry. Recharge every year before operation. So every year annually. Um, I'll show you how to do that and everything. So hopefully you guys can see. Um, pretty easy, I actually bought this part from a Honda dealer today. It was more expensive than I thought. It was actually $91 with tax and everything. But that's the part number, 31500V45801. Uh, it's the battery replacement. It looks exactly like the other one. But all you need is kind of a screwdriver, a Phillips head. And I'll show you what I'm gonna do. So, um, I'm kind of working backwards, but you just take the strap off. It's hooked onto here. And there's two prongs that hook on. I'll show you after. Let's just put this up here for now. Then you got these. These are the battery. I'll show you. Uh, this is the actual battery. You can see the, the model number right here, part number. Uh, V15004581. Um, let me try that. I'm gonna go like this so you can see better. And then I got my screwdriver right here. I'll turn it on too afterwards just to make sure it works. So this is the battery. This is Honda's OEM battery right there. That's what they come with, the Honda 1332 and the 928, the HSS. So in the video it shows there's red and black. Let's see, this is the straps too right here. I'm just gonna take it off for now. So this just goes on right here. Just fit perfectly. So I'm gonna do black first. That's what it says. Before I do that though, I'm gonna use these. These came with the uh, battery tender. So you can put these on and I can charge it whenever I want. I'll show you after. Yep. So red goes to red. Let me put this down for now. Red goes to red. And black goes to black. You want to do the black first, it said. Let's see here. I'm just going to hand thread it. Ooh, that sucks. Comes with two washers. Yeah, two washers and a bolt. So these are just bolted on. You just kind of just screw on. Like so. Let's see. I'm just gonna screw it on first. Just take a screwdriver. You'll feel it getting tight. That's tight. Okay. Oop, I forgot the terminal. I'm gonna put the terminal on the bottom. And then, let's see here. I'll show you what this does after. I'm gonna put the terminal like this. I'm gonna have it just like that. And then I wanna just tighten it. Yeah, the previous owner said he didn't he never charged them, so I knew it was going bad. I brought the auto zone and he said the CCA, the cold cramp, cold CCA when it it was a uh, failing. That's what he said. So, let me see here. I'm just gonna tighten this. Okay, that's tight. That's as tight as we can get it. All right, tighten those two. And then 
this is just going to dangle kind of down. I'll show you after. Okay. Now you want the strap. There's a strap that comes with it. Um, you want it to, there's a hanger there. And then it goes all the way around. I'll show you. Oops, I did that first. Like that. And then this just goes right here. There's a clip right here so it holds it in place while you're moving and stuff that's perfect can you see pretty good let's see yeah okay and then what you want to do you want to take this and just kind of put it on the side that's just going to kind of dangle so that's it in now what you want to do is put the cover on. The cover is kind of a pain. You want the back strap here. Let's do a better view. Hold on. So the back strap just comes over. I'll show you. So you want to just put it like this. Okay. And then you want this. Where's that? It's charging. I'm gonna keep that on the side so I can charge it whenever I want. I'm just gonna keep it like there. But you want the two, there's two clamps down there. You want them to line up. I'll show you. Let's see if we can get under. Yeah, see the two, one, two? I don't think they're lined up yet. That one's lined. And that one's lined now. Okay, so those two are lined up, and then this kind of, you can see right here, kind of grooves in there, and this clamps down. I'll show you. But you want to keep this, this is what I'm going to keep later, so I can charge whenever I want without taking the cover off, because it's kind of a pain. Let's see here. So I'm just going to sit you guys down here. So what you want to do is, now that the clamps are on there, I just kind of press down. There you go. You'll hear it click, click and click. So that's right on, because there's two little prongs that go in. Yep, click and click. And then this just goes right here. It's kind of a pain, but it clips. And then you got this whenever you want. But they got alligator clips, so. Okay, let's see if it works. That's all I need to do. Pretty easy, guys, huh? This goes with that. Let's see if it works. First pull. They said they charged at the Honda dealer, so. So what you wanna do is keep it in neutral, put it in fast, bring out the choke, and then turn this on. So it works battery works good now i got this battery it's called a battery tender charger i plug it to the wall that's all it is and then it has at the end it has these alligator clips see and all you have to do is pull it out let me see sorry i'm doing it one hand so it's hard alligator clips and then let me see if i can do it 
you take this, the one I got, you can see, see how it's under? And you just clip it and it'll charge it. Oop. Let's see if I can do it. Should work. Does it work? See how it's together now? And it's saying it's charging. Cool. So, oh, I keep that on a 12 volt because that's a 12 volt battery and AGM flood it, it's not lithium. They told me just to keep it like that, so I'll keep this battery healthy and just charge it. Thanks for watching, and this is the first Honda battery replacement I've seen, so I hope this lasts me years and years.